everyone, this is Jillian. Good to practice with you again today. Find a comfortable seat and prop yourself up on a blanket if you have it or even a block. And let's get started. Once you have begun to find your seat, feel the hips heavy, sinking down into the floor. rhythm of the breath to flow in and out. Slowly begin to inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Continue to breathe slowly in and slowly out at whatever pace feels comfortable for you right now. shoulders to melt towards the hips and the hips further sinking down into the floor. And taking one more full breath all the way in and all the way out. Slowly let the chin drop forward towards the chest and let the head hang heavy for a moment. Take a pause here. Beautiful. Slowly lift your chin back to neutral and flutter the eyes open if they were closed. Good. Let's switch the legs, bring the hands back and change this foot that is in back to now bring in front and vice versa. Clasp your hands out along in front of you and begin to circle in any direction. Trying to keep your hips into the floor, your sitting bones into the ground, circling the arms forward, drawing the arms back. As big or as small circles as you'd like. Last one. And reverse directions. Other way. Maybe breathing half the circle in and half the circle with the exhale. Last one. And release the arms. Stretch the legs out long in front. And again, if you're on your block or your blanket, being sort of on the edge of it, clasp the arms out in front one more time. Circle now. Keep the hips grounded into the floor. Maybe start small. And then begin getting a little bit bigger now with the circles. Involving the pelvis, the rib cage, the shoulders and the chest. And reverse directions, opposite way. 
Keep flexing through your feet. Breathing, churning things out, getting it moving. And release the arms, good. Bring the feet back in. And then holding the backs of your thighs with your hands, exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, breath, curving the chest up towards the ceiling, dropping the shoulders down. Repeat this two to three more times. Exhale, round the spine, pull away from the thighs, tuck the belly in. Inhale, rock your pelvis forward, lift the sternum, drop the shoulders, lengthen the collarbones. Last one, exhale. And come back to neutral. All right, everyone, let's come to all fours. Okay, so up on your hands and your knees, spread the fingers wide, make sure the knees are right underneath the hips and the palms right underneath the shoulders. From here, find your cat cow, inhaling, lengthening the belly, the sternum, the throat, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding spine. Tucking shin, lifting the lower back, tucking the tail. Inhale, gazing up, lengthen through the belly, front of the body lengthening. Exhale, rounding, lengthen the back of the body. Last one. Guiding in your movements along with the breath as it comes in, as it goes out. Good. And then from here, find your neutral position. Stretch the arms out a little bit more in front of you, maybe one hand's distance. And then exhale, sink the hips back, child's pose. Inhale, press into the palms, come back up, all fours. Slide the arms back until they're underneath your shoulders. Exhale, child's pose, hips back, relax your head to the floor. Inhale, come on up. Tabletop, exhale, child's pose, hips back towards heels. Last one, inhale, come on up. Exhale, child's pose. Hold your child's pose for a few breaths. Let your forehead rest, your elbows soften. And feel the expansion of the ribs as you inhale. As you exhale. Begin to walk your hands over to the right side. Arms about shoulder width distance. Press the hips back towards the heels, especially your left buttocks towards that left heel. Inviting a nice stretch underneath the left armpit. Inhale, walking through center to the other side now. Hands about shoulder width. Exhale, press those hips back towards your heels. Open up the side body on the right armpit, rib cage and waist. Inhale, walking the arms back through center now and pressing up to all fours. Beautiful. From here, bring your hands to the hips and then come on up to your shins and your knees. Good, extend that left arm down, reach towards the floor and slowly come on up. Reach towards the floor and come on up. Using your right fingertips to kind of cue on those obliques, engaging your core as you lift and lower We'll do two more. If your knees are sensitive here, you can always place a blanket underneath your knees or you're folding your mat over. Take the opposite hand down, touch the ground. Inhale, come on up. 
Use those left fingertips to remind the left say, side of your obliques to turn on. And we'll do this a few more times, keeping the spine long, pushing the shins into the ground, the tops of the feet into the ground. Last two. Last one. All right, stretch the arms out long and out to your sides. Inhale, arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands clasp behind each other. Take your right ear to the floor, child's pose. Let the right side of the face relax on the floor. Inhale, press up to the knees and shins, arms overhead. Exhale, left side of the face gently comes down to the floor as your hips sink towards your heels and the arms relax onto your back. Inhale, come on up, pressing through the shins and knees, palms overhead. Exhale, opposite side. Last time, inhale, rise up. Feel the sides of the waist lengthening. Exhale, left side of the face on the floor, arms stretch back, hips sink towards the heels. Inhale, come on up, push through the shins and knees. And then take the hands behind the head now. Good, feel lightly. The light pressure of the head pressing against the palms, feeling the back of the neck nice and long. Good. Chin is slightly tucked. And then lower to the left side. And inhale, come on up. Gently lower left side. Exhale, come on up. A few more times now. Last one. Other side, reaching over to your side, keeping the elbows open, feeling a light pressure of the head pushing into the palms, spine is long. And instead of thinking of collapsing on that right side, think of lengthening the left side. Last two. Last one. Good, relax the arms. Sit back onto your heels for a moment. Perhaps close the eyes and just observe for the next few breaths. That interior landscape of the body and mind and spirit. Slowly flutter the eyes open, and then we're gonna come to all fours again. So hands and knees, shoulders right over palms, hips right over knees. From here, we're gonna engage those obliques again that we've been working as you start to extend your left leg out to the left, let it hover above the floor, and then place it down. Good. Lift it up, hover above the floor, and place it down. Good, without letting your body tweak to one side, keep your shoulders lengthened. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Two more. Last one, reaching through the left heel and place the left foot down. Your left toes are pointing forward, just like your warrior two stance of the back leg. Walk your hands to your hips and come on up. Beautiful, from here, feel your pelvis neutral, making sure we're not 
arching the lower back and we're not over tucking the pelvis either. Good. Feel the left toes from big toe to pinky toe firmly pressing into the mat. Take the arms out long to your sides and overhead. And then this time, lengthen the left arm down to your left leg. We're gonna take a nice side bend, gaze at your left shoulder and begin to reach over to the left. Lengthening that right side of the body. Feeling the inner thighs and glutes engaged just slightly to feel support into the pelvis. The left foot is grounded. On your next inhale, keep your torso where it is, but extend your right arm, your top arm, out to your side. Good. Keep your gaze where it is. And then eventually let your right arm fall all the way, relaxing to the right. Inviting a stretch along the right side of the neck. And now as you inhale, slowly lifting through the rib cage first, then the shoulders, lastly through the head. And take a moment. Beautiful, bring the hands down to the floor. Keeping your leg where it is, you're gonna sink your hips back as if you were going into a child's pose and you're gonna slowly begin to feel that inner thigh stretch along the left leg. And breathe here, one breath. Inhale, come back up, shoulders over hands. Exhale, hips sink back towards your heel. Go as far as feels comfortable in your knee and your ankle. Inhale, come on up, pressing through the hands. Last time, hips back towards the heel. Inhale, come on up, shoulders over hands. Good, we're gonna lift our left leg, hover it above the floor for three, two, one, and bend the knee and bring it back underneath yourself. Good, beautiful. From here, let's do the other side now. Extend that right leg all the way out to the right. Hover above the floor, reach through the heel, and place it down. Good, we have two more of those. Inhale, lift the right leg, hover above the floor. Exhale, lower. Last one, lift the leg, hover. Exhale, lower. Walk your hands to your hips and come on up. Beautiful, again, take that little check of the pelvis, make sure you're not arching and not over tucking, keeping neutral. As your right toes firm into the floor, all your toes, just like your back foot of your warrior two stance. Inhale, stretch your arms out to your sides and overhead. Grow taller through your waist and then take the right hand down along the right leg, beginning to stretch up and over. Take your gaze either to the shoulder or elbow. And then again, like earlier, try not to collapse here on that right side, but feel the length up on that left side of the body. Good, a little bit of the inner thighs are turning on and the glute muscles to create a stable base of your pelvis. And breathing it all the way into the pelvis. Breathe low and deep into the pelvis. On your next inhale, keep the torso and your gaze where it is. Start to open up the left arm out to your side. Pause there for a breath or two. Reaching those left fingertips, allowing that left side of the neck to open up here. 
And then eventually let the left arm relax down by the left hip. One more deep breath. Firm that right foot into the floor. And then lifting through the pelvis, the rib cage, the shoulders, stacking the head, and coming to that neutral position for a moment. Beautiful, bring the hands down to the floor. And then it's almost like a half, half um, child's pose that we're working with and a nice groin stretch through that right leg. On your exhale breath, sit your hips back towards your back heel. Inhale, slowly come on forward, shoulders stacked over palms. Two more slow. Exhaling as you press your hips back. Inner thigh of the right leg, getting a nice stretch. Inhaling, coming up. And if it feels funny on your knee, you can always flip your heel um, down and your toes up. And then come back up to all fours. All right, from here, Keep the spine long, engage your core muscles and lift the right leg a couple inches off the floor. Hold for three, two, one. Bend your knee, bring it back in underneath yourself. Sit back onto your hips and heels for a breath in your hero's pose. One more full breath. everyone. From here, let's come on to all fours again and begin to curl your toes under, finding your downward facing dog now, hips up high. Pedal out your heels slowly as if you're treading through wet cement or wet dirt, wet earth. Let your head dangle heavy. Beautiful. Ground your feet for a moment. Take a little bend in both your knees. Send the tailbone up towards the ceiling a little bit higher. Keeping the bend in the knees. Hold here a few breaths, head heavy. And inhale, stretch those hips parallel to the floor. Plank position, shoulders stacked above the palms, crown of the head reaches long, heels actively pushing through the back wall. One more breath. Soften the knees down, child's pose, hips back. Flip your palms up, relieving any tension built up in your wrists. And forehead resting, two breaths. Beautiful, everyone. Press the palms down and come on up to all fours again. And from here, curl your toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach right leg up and back. Keep the hips level, pelvis level. Exhale, stack your shoulders over the wrists. Knee comes into nose, hug your belly in. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee forward to nose. Hug your belly in. Inhale, last time, reach up and back. 
and this time step your foot all the way forward in between your hands. Soften the back knee down to the floor and then begin to walk up the right leg for your low lunge. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Curl your back toes under if they aren't already curled and straighten out the back leg. Inhale from here, bring the weight into that left hand and open up the right arm towards the ceiling. Circling your right arm, reach the arm towards your back wall, towards the floor, towards the wall in front of you, and towards the ceiling. Continue this big circle, allowing the chest to have a natural reaction as the arm moves in its socket. Last one, keep the back leg firm, squeeze the back glute. And slowly bring your hand to the ground, lower the back knee, and one more time, walk up the front leg. Inhale, arms overhead, big breath in. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Back leg straightens. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, send the left leg up and back. On your next exhale, knee to nose, shoulders stacked above your hands. Inhale, lengthen left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine slightly, hug belly in. Last one, inhale, leg back. Exhale, step your foot all the way forward in between the hands. Good, soften your back knee down to the floor and walk up the front leg for your low lunge. Inhale, arms overhead, big breath in. Exhale, hands lower. Curl your back toes if they aren't already and straighten the back leg. Bring the weight into your right hand, open it out a little bit to your side and sweep your left arm up. Beautiful, keep the back leg strong, pelvis level. Begin your big circles with that left arm now, reaching to the wall behind you, to the floor, wall in front of you, and to the ceiling. Two more, nice and slow, listening to the sound of your breath. Last circle. Your gaze might go with your fingers. And then the hand comes down to the floor. Soften your back knee down. One more time, walk up the front leg for low lunge. <sighs> Inhale, arms overhead, big breath in. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. Straighten the back leg and step your front foot back into downward facing dog. Pedal your heels or take a breath of stillness. Beautiful, soften the knees down to the floor. We're gonna bring our forearms down to the ground now. Interlace your hands. Curl your toes under and finding dolphin, we're gonna press the pelvis and tailbone up towards the ceiling. There's no pressure of your head and the floor. 
Your head is off the ground and the neck is loose and dangling. The hips are high and the core muscles are staying active. Keep breathing. You can experiment with walking your toes forward a little bit closer towards your elbows. Keep pressing through those forearms and elbows and wrists. And on your next exhale, slowly bring the knees down to the floor. Good. Come on up to all fours, hands and knees. Beautiful. Make sure the knees are hip width. We're going to inhale our left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, weave your arm through and bring the left side of the face to rest on the ground. Your hips are elevated right above your knees. The shins and tops of the feet relaxed, but aware of the ground underneath. Your right hand can reach overhead on the ground or out next to your left wrist. Three more rounds of breath, feeling the expansive breath as you inhale, the ribs expanding wide on both sides, right and left, front to back. Relaxing the facial muscles, one more big breath. And slowly bring your right hand close to your face, push down into the floor, and unwind your left arm back up to the ceiling. Exhale, softly lower left hand. Good, take a moment in this neutral position. And then on your next inhale, send the right arm up to the ceiling. Open up the chest. Exhale, weave the arm through, allowing the right side of the face and shoulder to rest on the floor. Do what feels most comfortable with your left arm, either overhead or out to your side. Two full, deep pelvis breaths. Beautiful, slowly bring your left hand close to your face, press through the left palm as you unwind your right arm back up. Exhale, lower the hand down. Take a moment in all fours and just observe that symmetry of your pose. All right, curl your toes under, downward facing dog, hips lift high. Hmm. Soften the knees and begin to walk forward towards the top of the mat. Feet about hip width, grab your opposite elbow and bend your knees slightly. Let the torso hang heavy over the front of the thighs and knees and shins. Begin to bend your knees deeply and roll up vertebrae at a time, starting from the tail, drawing the belly in as you lift up slowly, lower back, mid back, upper back, lastly unwinding the rest of the neck to neutral and the arms down by sides. 
standing in your relaxed but sturdy mountain pose. Taking in one more deep breath. Let's come into our goddess pose now. So open up those feet nice and wide with the toes slightly out. Bend the knees, sit low. And really feel those feet grounding down. Allow your knees to slightly press back to the wall behind you. And again, do that little check of your pelvis, bringing the hands to your hips and notice if you're arching or if you're tucking and seeing if you can find the most neutral positioning for your pelvis in your body. Take the arms up to cactus, palms wide. Breathe here. And you choose if you wanna be up a little higher or if you wanna sink down a little lower, just make sure the knees are right over the ankles. Let the heat build, spread the palms wide. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, stretch those arms out, arms wide. Exhale, hands down. Good. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the knees or inner thigh region. And then, then reaching that right shoulder, let it dip forward towards the floor. Breathing into your scapula. Nice little shoulder stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left shoulder dips forward slightly. Let the hips be relaxed, sinking down. Breathe through the ribs. Inhale, back through center. Bring your hands to prayer. Stay in goddess pose. A few more breaths. Feel free to close your eyes if you like. Ground into your feet. Feel the sturdiness of your bones. The muscles are more emotional. The bones, they're very steady and sturdy, grounded. Two to three breaths. One. Inhale, stretch the arms out, legs extend. Good, give yourself a big hug, wrap your arms around your chest. And then begin to toe heel your feet in a little bit closer. Stand in your mountain pose for a moment. One more deep breath. All right, everyone. Meet me down on the floor. Okay. So from all fours position, we're gonna extend that right leg, bend the knee and extend it out to your side again. Hover above the floor for three, two, one. Place it down, seal your foot pinky edge of the foot down into the ground, hands to your hips, come on up again. Good, from here, we're gonna pull your heel forward, rotate your toes out, okay? And you can walk that leg forward slightly. So now your right foot is similar to the right, uh, to the front foot of your warrior two, okay? We're gonna do this little modified side angle version on our knee. Take your right forearm to your right thigh and begin to extend the left arm all the way up and out to your side. Good. Breathe deeply from the bottom of your left leg all the way up to your left fingers. 
Inhale, open the arms. Warrior two arms. Good. Bring your left hand to your hip. Flip your right palm. Reach up and slightly back. Inhale, side angle, modified. Right forearm, right thigh, left arm overhead. Big breath in. Inhale, come on up. Warrior two arms. Left hand to left hip, flip the right palm. Reverse warrior, up and back. Doesn't have to be far. Just think about lifting through the side body, dropping the right hip. Last one, warrior two arms, side angle, forearm to thigh, left arm reaches past the head. Squeeze the left glute. Good, inhale, warrior two arms. Left hand to left hip, right palm up, reverse. Inhale, warrior two arms. Good, bring your hands down slowly to the floor and draw that right leg in. Good, shake out the legs a little bit. And again, if it's a, ever a little bit too much pressure on your knees, get a little blanket, give yourself a little more cushion. All right, from here, all fours position. Begin to bend your left knee and extend it long out to your side. Hold for three, hovering for two, one, lower the foot, seal the foot, bring your hands to your hips and come on up to your shin. Beautiful. Good. Bring your left heel forward and the right toes out. Bend the knee and adjust that foot either forward or back. See what feels comfortable. Same idea, keeping that neutral pelvis. Inhale, arms stretch out. Side angle, modify, left forearm, left thigh, right arm overhead, big side body stretch. Inhale, warrior two arms, stretch wide through the fingertips. Right hand to right hip, flip your left palm, reverse your warrior up towards the ceiling. Inhale, warrior two, arms wide. Exhale, side angle modified, forearm to thigh, right arm overhead. Inhale, warrior two, come on up, lift that torso. Right hand, right hip, left palm up, reverse. Keeping that neutral pelvis. Inhale, warrior two. Last one. Side angle, forearm to thigh, right arm overhead, big side body stretch. Feel, um, take a check in. Make sure those shoulders aren't squeezing near the ears, but there's a lot of space. Good, inhale, warrior two. Right hand, right hip, left palm up towards the sky. Reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your hips, down to the floor, hands lower. And then bring that left leg in. Shake it out a little bit. Extending that right leg. Extending that left leg. All right, everyone, let's come off our knees. And we're gonna be sitting in this little position right here, legs pointing towards the left. Doing a lot of side body today. Take the left arm out, crawl those left fingertips way up as you sweep your right arm up to the ceiling and start to stretch over. You can draw your chin into the chest slightly. Inhale, slowly come back up. 
Good. Swing the legs out long in front of you. Flex your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lengthen forward fold. Kicking through those heels, reaching through the backs of the legs. Arms long, legs long. Everything reaching, very active right now. Inhale, lift the torso. Good, relax your arms. Swipe your heels towards the right now. Good, sit up nice and tall on that left side. Crawl your right fingertips way out and reach that left arm up and over. You can draw the chin towards the chest slightly. Let your hips be heavy, your knees be heavy, your ankles be heavy. Inhale, rise up slowly. And extend the legs one more time forward in front of you. Flex your feet. Inhale, arms up. Flexing those legs, lengthen the torso forward. Find a place you can hold before you would begin to round. So keeping that intention of length in the lower back and the mid back and even upper back. A couple more breaths. Inhale, rise up. Relax the arms down by your sides. Good. Let's do a reverse tabletop. Make sure your feet are about hip width. And your hands come behind you with the palms flat and your fingertips facing your heels. Press firm into your feet and hands and begin to lift your pelvis. You decide if you'd like to choose to gaze down towards the navel or let the head go back, but eyes staying open. Breathe three to four breaths. Keep squeezing the glutes, lifting the pelvis up, and exhale slowly, hips down first. And lift the chin. Good. Butterfly those knees open. Grab your ankles, your shins, and sit up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge forward. Bend your elbows into your thighs. Gently pressing and encouraging the knees down to the floor as your spine stays long. Beautiful, inhale, slowly come on up. Bring the knees together and let's get ready to come down to the floor for Shavasana. If you have your blanket or your socks, your extra layers, feel free to layer them on. Come on down, feet as wide as you'd like. The body tends to cool, so that's the reason why I, uh, I always like to suggest having some extra layers so the body can stay at a nice, moderate temperature. Relax the arms long by your sides or even someplace on the body that feels good and safe and secure. Allow yourself to make any adjustments so that you're fully comfortable. And feel free to drown out my words or cling to them as much as you'd like as I guide you in a body scan. Bringing your 
your awareness to the outermost layer of your body, of your skin, this barrier that keeps all our insides in and outsides out. Feeling this expansive layer of skin that covers the whole body. From this very superficial layer of your skin, even here allowing from your toes all the way up to the crown of the head, the skin of the body melt and relax down. Becoming more expansive. Feeling the support underneath the body. Dissolving any tension. From toes, up the legs, pelvis. Up the torso, neck, up to the crown of the head. Just as you began to start dissolving tension from the outermost layer of skin, allow that dissolving to influence the most inner layer of the body. From outside in, feeling that expansiveness the innermost layer of the body and the organs, the cellular level, expansive, rejuvenating, toes all the way up to crown of head, feeling the entirety of the body inside and out, whole and complete, nothing to add or exchange or fix. Breathing into this entirety of the body now a little more actively. Slowly 
the beginning, come back here and now. Begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers, wrists and ankles. When you're ready, inhale, arms overhead, big yawn. Wake yourself up. And then rolling over to any side. And using your top arm to press into the ground and help yourself up to seated. Coming into a seated posture to finish class. Bringing hands to prayer, center of chest. And finishing practice today with our collective breath, taking three breaths together. Please inhale. forward, thanking yourself for practicing, honoring your practice and one another's. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and I'll be seeing you soon.